Vietnam War next, and then Argentina will take on Australia. And here is your commentator, Nigel Starmersmith. Well, they last met in Glasgow, as you saw there, but uh, so much under the bridge since then. Close encounter, hidden, is what you might expect. Samoa won in Glasgow, France beat Samoa in Dubai last season. So here's the French side. One of the three squads with no new recruits in their lineup. Bit of a change here, perhaps a surprise. Inigo coming in, taking over as the playmaker for Burahua. Um, I think they'll want to try and, well, make the use of the pace of Bruno Delmas. But a lot of experience there. Very competitive against South Africa in the Cup quarterfinal. Here are some uh, five new in their squad, two of them in the lineup. The two being uh, Patrick Fapale and Leo Lolo, but a uh, very good captain. He's played very well for his side, Afa Iono, and the experience too of Alatasi Tupu. Depth of experience there, but they're missing their flyer, of course, injured on the first day, Tom Yosefo. Alatasi Tupu in his 38th tournament and the man who played way back in Dubai in the last Rugby World Cup 7s. Referee, well, he's a 27-year-old from Wellington, New Zealand, raised on a dairy farm in Manawatu, civil engineer by profession, and uh, he made his debut here at the Gold Coast 7s in 2011. Well, you may lose in the cup quarter-final, but you may as well try and win the plate. This is the plate semi-final, the first one. <laughs> Samoa just puts it perfectly onto the 10 metres and it taken on well by Seleseli. Paapale and uh, Iono on this left wing here. Drifting defence by France, but he's still got a bit of space. Iono tries to offload. Good work uh, by Mazue, who held him. Ball went forward. Bit of a fortunate moment, that for France. Well, there is the coach of Samoa, Afarmoni Lalamilo. And he's taken over, obviously, from Stephen Beetham and the job that, uh, the wonderful job that Stephen Beetham did with the Sevens. They'll be disappointed, to be honest with you, Nigel. They had higher hopes for this tournament, but uh, yeah. there is some silverware on display, and they'll be wanting to win that plate that they lost last year to Wales. Yeah, Stephen Beeson going up from sevens to the 15s coach. Now this is Alba Ladejo. Been very much a, an ever-present since he first played in 2008 in Dubai. France have it, and away by Mazoué. Not a very clever pass into Zambelli. Whoops, and... Dunio did well to take hold of that. He's the captain of the French side. Now one of the most powerful tacklers in the game, Samoa. Break away though, and Dunio hasn't got the pace to go the whole distance, but he's looking for support. Comes in a bit from Logel. This is Dalinia. Down off the feet. Well, you've got to stay on your feet. You've got to get up quick because it's very quickly taken by Farpale. He's one of the new boys. Oh, had he caught it, he'd have been home. He did everything so well, didn't he? The quick tap. The awareness that there was no sweeper in behind. The grubber kick. And it's just the nature of the rugby ball, the way that it bounces. A young 21-year-old, though, from the Viala Club. In up here, have a look at this. This is class. Just denied by the bounce of the ball there. Just bounced up, a bit too high. From... Wasn't kind, was it? It's a really irritating ball sometimes. <laughs> the ovoid. So here's been Vincent Inigo. Crouch. Started playing seven, six years ago and represented France then. He's only played six times up till now. 
Rahua is uh, on the bench. It surprised me, actually, Bill. Um, Willie. Oh, I nearly called you, Bill. <laughs> Paapale. Some of these uh, Simone players looking a little bit uh, ragged, a little tired, some of them. And the breakaway is by France with Mazoué inside here. The try, Logel. Well, where was the defence? They were look, they wilted, weren't they? They were jogging back and they, there was no one there to cover out. No sweeper, no anyone. Yeah, the problem was that it actually came free from the struck here. The ball was there and uh, the next person, Tupo, went in, but the ball was free. Far Pelly couldn't get across in time. And that's a wonderful start for Legel. Well, they certainly up, uh, upgraded their level. Being very competitive, they beat Argentina, they beat Portugal. They're the first team to give uh, South Africa a real competitive game in the cup quarter final. Strange, because last week they started out with a cup final in Dubai and made the uh, semi-final plate here in PE. And went down through the season. But a seven point lead. Well, that was a bit of luck. Ilamayava wide out is to boot. Scragged by Renaud Delmas, flicked away by Lolo. Some famous names, of course, missing any more. Uali Mai, Lola Louis, and Fao Saliva. Was such a cornerstone of their forward effort. Oh, a little knock on. And you can't suddenly replace people like that, can you? Yeah, well, you've mentioned some great names there in Uwali Mai, 142 tries, 1,300 points to his name. And as you say, Lola Louis, Samika Makaeli, Alafoti Sao Saliva, Paul Perez. Yeah, well, he's, he's gone uh, to France, I think. He's playing out there, and uh, in fact, uh, Lola Louis might come back, he's been injured. Crouch. Levasa as well. Ken PC. They had some tremendous sides. Nigel and my and suggesting that Wally might attend something like 79 events, 70 odd events. Yes. The most of anyone. Incredible. Absolutely extraordinary. Started in 2000. Played right the way through till 2011. Pablo Deja take a bit of a knock there. He's back on his feet again, having to play the sweeper. Gets back up now. Once again, Tapu on the left wing. Delmas holding up. Farpale. Afamasanga. Well, all the ball in Samoa's hands. This is Sele Sele. Always oh, has he got the whole way, not quite, just short. Advantage here. Advantage over. Wide from Daniel to McDelmas. Now he's the quickest man. They'll not catch him. He's away. Desperate dive by Alpha Masanga. But Bruno Delmas, well I thought they'd try and set him up. He hasn't really shone in this tournament so far, but he shone then. Played every game last season. Scored 28 tries one season. 0-9-10. Well, that's his 59th in his career. His third here on the Gold Coast. Look at that. Inside, outside. No substitute for pace. And he just flew off. It was Apayono who went down the right-hand side for Samoa. And just in the, in the form of getting to his feet and trying to replay the ball again, he knocked it forward. France knew that the space was out wide, and that's where the second try came from. To give France a 14-point lead at half-break. 14 to nil, and a good start for France. Some while since they uh, got the silver at the plate level. Thank you.
Morel. Playmaker, sometimes too selfish, perhaps a bit uh, very talented. I think he'll be on soon. Very well, warming up now. There's the fit with two tries, has it? So. No, absolutely. He's a great player to bring off the beach as well. I did see him last night, Nigel, with an ice pack, but he was applying on his hand. Well, he did have that injury, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, and so I, I just think he got to... dislocated and maybe. Uh, I just wonder whether they're saving him for that final as well, if they can get through here, so... Could be the case. Well, the substitutions at this stage of the tournament are particularly significant. Bringing on the players with fresh legs. Uh, you don't need a PhD in, in science to know that Samoa need to score next. They have to be able to close the deficit. Blue. Uh, James McPhail blows the whistle. Seven minutes to go. This, who just joined us, the plate semi-final. Of course, we've got the plate cup. The uh, plate cup follows it later on, and before that, excitement of the semi-finals of the cup of the Masana. I get the impression that there's a fitter French side, you know, their, their defence has been far better than I've seen in, the, in recent times. And what I've enjoyed is their ability to actually attack as well, because Samoa are always physical and that their the presence of mind to hold it up because they know that if they can get the ball they'll get the turnover and the scrum. And I like the regression at the breakdown as well. They're sending in players to ask questions of Samoa's body position. Turned over a couple of times in the score Number tries. eight there, Jonathan uh, Logel. He's only 19, but he's, he's impressed me. And he's certainly his weight and worse his position in the start later. He's not yet fully contracted. He's still with the rushing Metro. Touch! 15s aside. Sit! But has the... Uh, Sevens as his priority. Alba Dejo has to leave, leave it. Down. And it's Samar who pile on the floor. Just gel 19 is a big unit. Yeah. Now San Inigo gives it to Zambelli. Another who was present in all the nine tournaments last season. 23-year-old, versatile, he's sometimes in the forwards, but he's in the midfield this time. That was well picked up by Inigo, the, uh, the uh, scrum half here. Now Mazue, again as you see, being much more physical than usual in the past. Candelon is quick, and this is Alba Dejo. Abla Dejo pirouettes through two, gives the ball to Zambelli. He's going to make it as he slides, just short. Well held up there, right on the line. Samur, keep him out. Where's the ball coming France's way? It is. Abla Dejo, Mazoué uses his weight, his strength. He's behind the post and he scores. Well, that's three tries to nil. Now the perfect start for the Tricolors. Too much pace. Well, strength really. Look at this. But on the outside of the Samoan captain, Iono. And he just, the first two metres were here. He accelerated. Then he knew that he had the angle and the power to break through. You're absolutely right. It was the angle, wasn't it? Diagonally and hardly stopped someone of that weight. Even the big guy like Apa Iono. Some fresh legs that you mentioned as well. Terry Orohua, he's on there as well as Steve Barry, so good replacements to bring on for France. You're right, normally in their first lineup. Look at the ball given away in that pie chart. Eight times given away by Samoa. Criminal, really. And 
Well, 21-0, just three and a half to go. Terry Buahoa then, one of the star scrum halves of the Stade Francais for four seasons in Paris in the 15s. But uh, then uh, was cut out and uh, went to the sevens. Sweeping here. Well, desperate times here for Samoa. Three tries they've got to get in the space of three minutes. Has been done, but it's pretty rare. Into the hands of uh, Tuing Amala, one of the new boys, 22 year old. Asifa Amatala. Fa'apale. Hold on. And they're holding on, they're just giving away, and away goes Terry Buahawa. They really have given ball away this time. It's not normal of Samoa. Good driving on here. Once more. French ball. Burahua pops it up into the hands of Steve Barry. Barry, who uh, came to sevens out of Stade Rochelet. Burahua again. Mazoué. He's set the example, hasn't he, of the forwards. And Burahua gets away. Now then, he's got one man to beat. Little chip and chase. Going back is Farpale. Ball goes dead. 22. And back to the 22. Well, an interesting stat is that Samoa scored 10 tries yesterday on day one. They've scored one today. They conceded seven and they've already conceded six in two games. So what a difference 24 hours makes. And look at that. Farpale just shadowing Borahua, making sure that the ball goes dead. There's a bit of a bit of bang there on Mazoué. He's gone down. He's still down. I hope he's not concussed. But desperate times now. It's uh, really all over. Afayana sets it up. He wants something by consolation. Wide from uh, Tululu into the hands of Leo Lolo. Good cover tackle there by uh, the French defence. Delenia, that pretty much sums up the defence of France today. Isn't it improved? Wow, incredible. I, I can't believe I'm watching the same French side. And that is that concussion, or that is the head clash from the 22, the restart. Have a look at this. There, bang. Tui Gamala on Mazoué, and he hasn't moved. No. 21-year-old Jean-Baptiste Mazoué has had a tremendous game here. And he's now back on his feet, but very groggy. Started out in a junior club okay, called Fijiak, okay. then went to Breve, one of the uh, top 14 Hold. clubs. Yep. Now has been Hold. for the 18th time tournament in sevens. What a difference in attitude from Hold France. On. Well, it is it's transformed, I must say. They're taking it far more seriously now. It used to be sort of like a holiday around the world for some of them, I think. <laughs> Not anymore. Abla Dejo still attacking from behind there in line. Well, they can play like that if they want because they know they've won the game. It's 21 0 and there's 40 seconds to go. Comfortable feeling that. It's a try here though, and it's given by Leo Lolo, 23 year old new boy, and that's his, what, fifth in the tournament. They quickly converted because they want to get back and see if they can close the gap by even more. He should have scored down the left bank, but this is where the counter ruck. Look at this. Samoans are on their feet, all rights to the ball, and uh, Lolo picks it up, dives over in the tackle of uh, Gobele. The second try on day two only. Last couple of seconds, it could be one back. Well, it is consolation. Anatasi Kapu. But there again, France are saying no. Our, our line is... Uh, our line of defence. Tuigamala is held. It'll be a penalty that'll be played. Asifa Amatala held up again. It's a different France performance here. And away with Terry Burahua. But knocked on, but it matters not because it's all over. There is the final whistle from James McPhail. And France make it in to the plate final, very convincing too.